Just... Hey, this is Jeremy with Bond's Exotic Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. We are here with Richard at uh, Da Vinci Boas, and today we are going to be talking about the supplement and how to uh, to administer it to some of the boas and ball pythons. All right, Richard, last time I was here, um, I, you only had one size bottle. Now it looks yeah. like you have several. Yeah, a lot of the breeders that we deal with have larger collections. So this is only gonna go so far in a small collection. So now we're offering larger bottles for people to have many snakes in their collection. Okay. Um, especially the big boas and the retics and stuff like that. This isn't gonna work for them. This, is, this will be good for bearded dragons or any kind of lizard species outside or of the monitors. somebody with a really small collection. Yeah, and then you can go into your these are 100 mils, 500 mils, and 1,000 mils. Um, Billy Rowe from Mutation Creation orders these because he has a large collection and he likes having the extra stuff on hand, aside from somebody with a smaller collection that can go through this in a few months. So now we're offering these bottles in all sizes. Today we're gonna go ahead and show how to administer the supplement to uh, some boas. And unfortunately, he doesn't have any ball pythons here, so I'll be doing that a little bit later in the video at my facility and show how we can administer that to the ball python. Um, instead of using syringes, which we found they were a little more, uh, you know, they, they shot the liquid into the, to the mouth. We're using pipettes now, which are just squeeze tubes. Uh, we have one cc's and three cc's, depending on the size of the animal you're using. It's super easy. It slides right down the throat. You administer the, the liquid and pull it out. Um, this is what we started with. Yeah, and it's it's a little more harder, and it can be used like this. I think Billy said he was using this at the moment, and, yeah. I, and I talked to him about these here. Now, things with this, you know, it's hard. It doesn't yeah. really bend very well. Well, the problem we were having with it is when you pulled the liquid into it and you went to shoot it down into the throat, sometimes it would stick and it would just overdue mm -hmm. okay. whereas this is super soft and super easy and you could control the flow of it with this yeah and then yeah. when you put it in make sure you hold this and pull it out because if not it'll suck the liquid back up into the tube which i've seen many many people do but after the first time of doing it you understand and you learn from it all right so richard you want to tell me about um who's been buying this product from you so far and, and sure. using it and how it's working for them yeah so i've been using it for years uh myself and my you know my animals and in Daytona last year we decided to debut it and bring it out and you were the first person to buy it and use it on ball pythons um, we've sold it for uh, bearded dragon breeders monitor breeders Sims container uh, John Adragna uses this he's been using it for a while now he has great results with it with a lot of his high-end monitors um, Billy Rowe from Mutation Creation uses this he swears by it uh, you know we've been on his podcast uh, talking about it and stuff like that. Uh, Roscoe Reptiles from the Reptile Shop uses it. Bod's Exotic uses it. And we've got a bunch of other people that have been you know, buying this stuff and been having really good results with it. And the question is, is how does it work? Well, it's a supplement. So I can't tell you with your animals how it's gonna work. I just know it works and it works for me. Um, and it works for everybody else. It's great for non-feeders. Um, it has amino acids in it with a bunch of vitamins. And I think that's what's doing the spark on the feeding, you know, getting these animals to eat again. And then we also give it to our gravid females to replace the calcium that the babies are taking from them and our males that are depleted from breeding. So they all get the supplement year round and we have great results and, you know, with this stuff. So, I mean, this is what we have and we're going to be offering it this year. We, we just restocked on it. So we have quite a few people that are looking to get into it. Now, when I, when I first come across this, um, I actually use this. And if you watched the last video I did, I had a, um, a, a high, high priced male ball python that I bred last year and I, I, pop, I probably overbred him a little bit, um, but he was off food for like eight and a half, nine months, you know, and without me offering the supplement to him, I don't think I would have been able to breed him this year. I gave him that supplement. One, one week later, he's pounding food and still to this day, he's still, every week he takes, takes his rodents and doing really well. I'm actually breeding him this year. He's, he's been locked to three or four different females again. Yeah. And, and I think it's all because of that right there. Oh, I know it's all because of that right there. So. And I'm pretty sure Billy said he had 75% or 80% success rate with yeah. non-feeders, which yep. is huge. And a lot of his employees were super excited about it as well because some of these animals haven't eaten in months and months. And then you give them the supplement and now they're eating back again. What it's going to do 
is it's going to help your animals recover faster and you're going to be able to breed them you know through the year they're not going to go off feed for six to seven months it could really change the ball python world i never thought about it like that because i'm a boa breeder but it's it's a calcium so ball pythons lay eggs which are full of calcium it's just going to make the eggs healthier and make everything in that point healthier so, uh, so richard do you think there's any benefit to giving uh the supplement to to like hatchlings or sub adults or anything like that and yeah. if so what would that be so unfortunately baby boas they have sensitive stomachs when they're younger some of them regurge you know every now and then so instead of giving them nutriback or something like that we're starting to give them this and we're seeing huge results with this okay um we had a couple animals this year unfortunately they regurged their first meal so you're not supposed to feed them for about a month after that so they can gain that bacteria back to digest that food well what this does is it has amino acids and vitamins in it along with the calcium and i think it replaces a lot of that so it helps their stomach digest that next meal and we haven't had any regurge problems after the after giving this supplement to a couple of those babies this year so that's another thing you can add to the positive list or the you know the pros for this supplement is it helps regurge as okay. well so it's good for any any uh hatchlings or any any animals yeah. at all i guess with regurge issues it's good for your breeder females um it's good for your breeder males because um i guess all the what do they call that the stuff they use to produce nutrients. the sperm and all that all the nutrients just kind of replaces that a little bit too it, and it does it gives your males a kickstart after breeding season a lot of boa breeders they always they always ask me why are our males so emaciated or small after boa season and, and unless they're big fat males because they breed they give everything they have into breeding so this just basically gives them a boost after breeding or even while they're breeding see i feed my males while they breed I give them breaks and I feed them and I put supplement in each one of the prey items while they're breeding and it seems to be doing much better for my males the last few years than it has before that. One other question I get a lot and we've said it before mm -hmm. but how can they buy this if anybody wants this? How can, how can they get a hold of you? So we're working on a brochure. We're working on a website. I think we're just going to tag our business page into this because we have so many people on our business pages. Mm -hmm. Uh, instead of making a new website so this is available on the da vinci boa page official da vinci boa merchandise and my personal page you can get a hold of me through there just message me we'll give you prices prices are all going to be different because of where people are shipping is all different you know worldwide this goes so shipping is going to be different um so just get with me i'll get you a price and we can get it shipped out we're really pretty good about shipping three to five days is when we can get it to you uh, we don't really slack on that because we know how it is. If we were to buy it, I want it as quick as I can get it. Right. So, yeah, that's about it. But the brochures, we're going to try to offer in every package we sell. So that way it'll explain everything in the product, what we've done with it, the testimonials that we've had. Uh, it basically answer all the questions you guys have that I can't answer for you. Okay. So you heard that worldwide. So not just America. Canada, oh, yeah. This has been everywhere in Canada. In Italy. We've got a big bottle going to Italy next week. Um, Germany. The Netherlands uh, everybody's trying to get on board with this and you know I never started this for the money part of it I'll be honest with you I did it just for the well-being of my collection but this has been really well doing really well for us and um, I'm glad everybody's enjoying it and I'm glad everybody's having positive effects with it I mean I have not had one person call me and say this doesn't work yeah. everybody calls me and goes what's in it how is this doing it the miracle supplement is what people are calling it yeah so let's talk about these uh I keep calling them pipettes. pipettes and yeah, pipettes. They're pipettes. No, it is pipettes. pipettes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the good thing about this is, they're see how flexible. flimsy and flexible yeah, they, they are? They don't break. Now, if, you, if you're giving this to, to one of the animals, especially like a hatchling or something, and for some reason it decides to spin its mm -hmm. neck real fast, you don't have to worry about the, uh, the other syringe, the hard plastic, yeah. you know, cutting it on the inside because this is really soft. And, yeah. And where did you come across these? Because these are not really for uh, supplements no, and so surgical stuff, I make right? beard oil. And um, what I do is for the essential oils and the oils that I use, I, I use different pipettes to do all the different measurements. Okay. And I thought one day I was like, man, these are really nice. So uh, I think me and Vinny were out here and we were giving some supplements to some of the snakes and we tried this and it's so much easier and it's so much safer. And you could throw these away. Yeah. You know, these are, these are disposable and they come in like 500 to 1,000 a bag. Mm -hmm. And you would just never think, you know, uh, how easy this would be compared to a syringe and but yeah, so this is what we use for now. We have the one cc's and the three cc's. Depending on the size of the animal you're giving to and how much you're giving, you can use those type, the, those sizes. 
But we're going to do an actual uh, video of us administering some of this in a little while, and you'll see how easy it is. Um, any other questions that anybody can think of that I think we covered? I went through all the questions, uh, basically how to administer it. Is it safe? Is it FDA approved? It doesn't have to be FDA approved because it's a supplement. It's just like going to GNC and buying a vitamin for yourself. Um, can you overdose it? No. Um, you know, it's too much calcium bad for the animal. Yes. Just don't overdose, you know, don't give the animal too much calcium. There's directions on here on the, on the lower side of what to give to these animals and we're available online or, you know, on the phone anytime. So if you have any questions, call, don't make a mistake and then try to blame us for it. Just call me and ask me a question. Mm -hmm. So, but we've been using this for years. We've never had any problems with our animals. We've had great, you know, uh, positive things with our animals no adverse effects no nothing it's just a supplement and like i told you me and you are going to do this in front of the camera to show that there's nothing that can happen uh what's that do what drink it oh yeah, yeah. okay let's do it all right let's do it <laughs> <laughs> and because of covid we're going to each use our own pipettes yeah pipettes 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 Pipet. 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 okay i'll Pipet. get it one of these days <laughs> yeah That's it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> it's actually not bad. I told you. Do you think I would give this to my animals before trying it? I almost want more. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, actually it's, not bad. It's just a it's vitamin like a... supplement that is going to benefit the calcium. You know, there's calcium glubionate, lactobionate, and amino acids in it with a bunch of vitamins. Mm -hmm. um, it's all beneficial to the body, you know. So reptiles are lacking calcium. They only get their calcium through their food source, which is the bones of the animals they eat. So, How did you find out about this? Um, where did you start? Like, how did it come across? How did you come across it? I have a buddy of mine. Um, we've been working together for a while, and his friend breeds dogs. Okay. High-end dogs um, down south. And he's been giving the broad spectrum of this, which is the calcium glubionate to his dog, his females while they're gravid because it helps with the calcium replacement while the puppies take it from the mother. Mm -hmm. He's like, man, you need to try something like this on your snakes. And I was like, yeah, I could, but I don't I didn't see a problem. So I didn't know if it was going to benefit me or not. Mm -hmm. Then I got with my buddy and we, we created this stuff and we added some, ca we, we added some uh, amino acids and vitamins to it. And we tried it on a bunch of our animals. We didn't see anything right off the bat because we didn't have ball pythons. Right. So they're not egg layers. So we didn't really know what we were looking for. But after the first couple litters, we saw that the litters were healthier. The females didn't look like flat tires. They weren't emaciated as, and they ate right off the bat. So I'm like, eh, maybe this is okay. But that was just the first year. And then the second year came by and then there was more females that looked better. And then I started giving it to the males while they were breeding. And I was like, this might, I might be onto something. So then we started doing more broad spectrum with other animals and we saw a big result. And that's when the monitor guys started getting on the bandwagon and saying, hey, I have some metabolic bone disease and some of my lizards, do you think this will help? I'm like, it's calcium, it has to help. Within a couple doses of this stuff, they're calling me saying that the lizards are running all over the cages, they're back eating again. So yeah, it, it was a trial and error. It was a little nerve wracking, but now I'm a thousand percent confident on this product and I put my name behind it. And as well as all the other big guys that are putting their names behind it, you know, my buddy Roscoe at uh, the reptile shop, he called me, he wants to order a whole box of this stuff. And he's like, you got to get it to me. And you, so, you've actually you've actually tested it yourself personally yeah. for about five years. I know you mentioned yeah. that before. So you've been, you've been trying it. And anybody that knows I, Richard knows that his animals are, you know, really, really high-end stuff, you know. So yeah. if somebody doesn't trust something like this, they're not going to give it to some of their high-end animals. I they don't take a risk. If I wouldn't use it in my collection, I, I would not sell it to anybody else. Um, and that's the time of the process of seeing this product work. I mean, I, I took the years to put into this, and I know this is going to work. Once again, I didn't do this to make money. This isn't a sales pitch. But now that it's out there and everybody has used it, and they're calling me saying, look, that you you're you're – you know, changing the ball python world, you're you're reinventing the ball python world. I was like, that wasn't my place. I didn't want to do that. But now that this is working, we're going to go ahead and run with it and, and make everybody happy and 
you know, one guy was telling me that now he can breed his ball pythons year round instead of seasonal mm -hmm. because they're not going to go off feed and his females will be healthier. And I get, I understand all this and I'm glad that the, everybody's, you know, happy about it. But once again, I didn't do that for that purpose. I did this for me personally. Right. But now that it's out there and, and the secret's out and cat's out of the bag, I guess, you know, we're, we're going to have all this available to the public. All right, so here we got um, uh, Paradigm Inca. Yeah, man, look at her. She is. Yeah, so gorgeous. this is a two year old female. Um, and, you know, like I said, once a month, once every couple of months, we'll give her a supplement. And she's solid. She's very, very healthy. Uh, a lot of people think two year olds should be bigger than this. We don't raise our females like that. We raise them slow and easy. But she's been getting supplement for about a year now. And as you could tell, she's beautiful. And it's super easy. So basically, you just. You're not squeezing, you know, I have total control of her. So basically you just put it in her mouth and she'll she'll wiggle back and forth a little bit. And then you want to just find the esophagus and you don't want to push. You know what I'm saying? She'll work it down and then make sure her neck is straight. You want to make sure the neck is straight because then the pipette will go down just like that. And then you just squeeze slowly. And then pull out slow. And make sure you're squeezing as yep. you're pulling. Squeeze out. as you pull out because if not, it'll suck the supplement back up. And that's it. Very easy. Simple as that. And then there you go. Now you recommend two people doing this. I mean, it's easier and it's less uh, less stressful on the animal. And as you could tell, the liquid's not falling out of her mouth because we slowly administered that down into her. You know her throat mm -hmm. um and that's it and then she goes right back in her cage and and she is a yep. beaut and she is pretty yeah and now she just wants to stay out and play so <laughs> that's it it's really really simple the larger the animal the easier um I've, I've tried to you know explain to people the bigger the animal the better because they're just they're quick and easy with it she's only two years old so she's still a little you know iffy about stuff but she's getting really good with it as you could tell she didn't fight me and every animal's different but we're noticing that they fight less the more you administer the the supplement to them okay so uh, so the first time is probably going to be one of the trickiest or it can hardest, be i mean hardest. i've had i've had you know everything's different the first time could be the worst time but i've had them where it was no problem at all okay but we're getting used to it as well like a lot of people that help me out you know they're understanding that it's got to be done so they're just figuring out how to do it but you see how easy it was you just you pull the tube and then this is just thrown in the trash yeah so you got to hold the tube when it's in there and then pull it out slow don't try to squeeze it and pull it out because you'll catch teeth and you'll catch everything out everything in this process is slow okay. that way they won't spit it back up they won't get stressed out i mean it was very it was super easy how that just happened it was and a lot this isn't a very tame animal this this animal could be cranky sometimes so that just goes to show you that a tame animal would take that a lot easier normally okay yeah, it was a lot, definitely a lot easier than, than when I was doing mine. Well, a lot of people haven't seen it, and that's one of our main questions is how is it done? How is it administered? Can you show me how to do it? Well, hopefully you guys saw everything that we needed to show you. Now, he's going to show you on a ball python in his facility. We don't have ball pythons here, so it's the same thing. But the key is, is just keep the neck straight. Yeah. Don't let her turn her neck. Just keep it straight with your wrist, and it doesn't have, you don't have to squeeze. They're just in there to, you know, to control that area. Right. And then make sure it slides down super easy, and then pull it right out easy as, as it goes in. So that was an example of giving something that's not on feed right now. Or, oh no, she, I mean, she, she's she's normal. eating, yeah. but but you would normally not apply it like that, would you? Or would you do it to a frozen? Oh, okay. Thumb? So we also do it in the prey. So basically, if an animal is feeding and we're just giving her supplements. You, you thaw the rat out and you do the same thing with the rat. You put it down the throat, you fill the gut up and you do it up. But do not feed the rat by the tail. This is where people go wrong. They'll grab the rat by the tail and all the fluid will fall out. All the supplement will fall out. So you feed the rat by the back of the head. Take your tongs. I feed, I tong feed, I do not hand feed. So you take your tongs and you grab the back, the rat by the back of the neck and then mm -hmm. you feed head first to the animal. Well, if it's a frozen thought, could you just inject it using a syringe you or could. is that not recommended? You could, but it's pretty thick. Um, I, I would just rather put it down the throat, let it sit for a minute and then feed the animal off. I, okay, I yeah, it makes sense, yeah. I would stay away from injectables. You know, it's, I think this works really well with just, you know, administering not, that way. 
Not to mention a syringe probably cost, you know, three or four times yeah. than one of those. So. What we've done is we've simplified this whole process for you. We right. dummied it down. Yeah. Basically. We made it easy for everybody. And that's why we're basically coming out here and explaining to everybody how it works and what we're doing and stuff like that. Okay. All right. So let's get the red stripe girl. Red stripe hit G stripe. Yep. Now, one thing, if you notice, I have paper down here. This stuff is like really sticky. Like if it gets on a surface or if you get it on your hands, you can tell it's kind of sticky. You want to make sure you clean it up right away. Other words, it gets really hard to clean up after it dries. So, um, all right, you ready to give this to the to her? Hold her at the neck there. This is her first time ever getting this supplement. So, let's see how she takes it. Kind of works slow. You know, it goes down into her, and then you squeeze slowly. And as you squeeze it, oh, as you remove it, and you remove it slowly. And try not to unsqueeze it like I just did a little bit. I actually sucked a little bit out of her. Okay, so now you see how we administer the supplement. As you're doing it more often, it'll only get easier for you and for the animals you're doing it to. Obviously, practice makes makes perfect, so. Okay, so make sure you check out Richard over at Da Vinci Bows. He's on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, I definitely recommend the, the supplement. I will continue using it for as long as I, I am doing this, you know, so definitely check that out. Um, Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, the bell, all that other stuff that you do with the with the YouTube channels. And appreciate everybody watching and have a good have a good day. Thank you. <coughs> Del Bono. Okay. <laughs> I'm bad with names. How do you say your last name? I don't Bye. even know. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the breeders that we deal with, they have larger collections. Why are you wearing gloves? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Now, what about the males? You think it's good to give it to Absolutely. the males that are breeding? I didn't understand that. Me either. <laughs>